Sziasztok, szép estét kívánok, üdvözlök mindenkit. Új hét, ismét itt vagyok, streamelünk. Mégpedig folytatjuk a The Wolf Among Us játékot. És ha minden igaz, be is fejezzük, mert uh, már csak két epizód van belőle. Úgyhogy uh, szerintem azt ma este uh, le tudjuk pörgetni. Már hogyha ezek az epizódok ugyanolyan hosszúak, mint az eddigiek. Értesüléseim szerint igen, szóval... Szóval valószínű, be is fejezzük. Én nagyon kíváncsi vagyok, hogy mi fog történni. Azért a harmadik epizód elég vagányan ért véget. Hát meglátjuk, kiderül majd. Oké, okay, hát szép estét nektek is, Serit Adri, köszönöm a százast. Nagyon szépen köszönöm. És Nevermind, jó estét neked is. Na hát akkor kezdjünk bele. Hmm. Oké. Okay. Epizód 4. Így van, ez fog következni most. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah? Meg, hogy végül kiderült, hogy nem Crane ölte meg. Így van, és most itt vagyunk. are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Oh. He can run as such as you should. Try not to move. figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. My arm? <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Hmm. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Azt mondja, beállíthatjuk magunk. Ó, oh, nem már! It's all good. Sokkal jobb lett. Hmm. 
Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. Hát igen, never mind. A bőrön áttörő vagy csont az nem jója. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work. So, if you wouldn't mind, stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. <laughs> it's finished when it's finished. Colin. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Your hooves? Hey, listen. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. Yeah. Remek. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart. And the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Hmm. <laughs> Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Nekem, nekem nem lenne kedvem megszólalni. Az biztos. Már mint ha meg tudnék szólalni persze, de nem mindegy. Sure, pizza. So, how do you um feel? It's Big Beast Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Mm. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were, I don't know, it was just awful. Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. 
It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. It was a split second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or well, that the crooked um, man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the hát mindegy, mert amúgy Crane az ilyen kis akárki, tök mindegy. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now Crane. is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. Hat okay. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. Okay. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we mm -hmm. can all move on. I'll do okay. better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Okay. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. Okay. See how calmly say Peshtate. Wolf's residence. No, I'm a detective. <laughs> Buffkin, what is it? Buffkin. Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? 
Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. As number one, save my nuke. Thanks, Bigby. Hát tudod, itt, itt, itt a keleti blogba egy kis uh, okocskodás belefér mindig. Persze vannak szabályok minden, de hát az a barátokra nem vonatkozik. Ezt tanultuk az elmúlt 30 évben a politikusoktól. V vagy mi... na, <coughs> miket beszélek. Oké. Okay. Na hát alapvetően túléltük, ami mindenképp jó. Hát meglátjuk, hova haladunk. Erre a hölgyre most hirtelen nem emlékszem, aki keres minket az irodánkba. Mindjárt kiderül. Szeretnél egy disznó havert? Jaj, tudom, tudom, Hi, tudom. Sheriff. Tudom, most már tudom. Hi, Nerissa. Ő adta a tippet a... a szoba kapcsán. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Megvertek, lelőttek. Sőt, szitává lőttek. Puffin puffs. Not many people smoke those. De mert mi baja van? Ez a helyi Szofi? Barna Szofi vagy mi? Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... Might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. That again. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Hmm. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. 
But now, they're gone. And I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? I'm not sure how I can... Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Hmm. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. <sighs> I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Um... That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! The slips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Hmm. You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Okay. <sighs> Miki, we never got to clear. Let me look up to Kuna Faye with So the ribbons, if you take them off. I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? No. Oh. I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Igen, ez a kis hablány. Thank you. Oh, ki vent magának lábokat. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. Hany, olyan sokszor elmondta, hogy ne vesztegessük az időnket. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Don't worry. I handled it. She couldn't talk because of the magic. But we managed to understand each other. I did my job. My way. What did you expect? Do you really want to know? Because you have given me reason to doubt you. Surely even you can see that. And the past few days have been... trying. You have to trust me, Snow. And I'm pretty sure she left convinced we're on the right track. Okay then. Good work. 
De most akkor el... elmondtuk, vagy nem? Azt kérte a Neris, hogy maradjon köztünk ez a beszélgetés, de a... gondolom a varázslat miatt nem volt probléma, hogy elmondtuk. And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Majd elmondtuk a varázslatot. You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the crooked man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here. Let me look at you, Nanny. I'm moody. Go off in a huff. I'm I'm through talking anyway. A solid kopogash. Oh, what do you want? Well. You're just going around knocking on doors, stirring the pot. You called, right? Or uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. <laughs> She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you. Big B. Yet with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I'm a fofe, but I didn't hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast, who's at the door? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem. Oh, yeah. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Hmm. Do you Talk want about to living in the past. Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Nagy ihan vagy, igen, igen. Fura, de hát Istenem. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. Centuries. Say, your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. 
That's all I ever do. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Hmm. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come hey, to the phone right now, so here. leave a message in I the should... beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Aggódnak, hogy ki lehet. Akkor tartoznak a Crooked mennek. Gondolom ez valami verő embere volt, vagy ilyesmi. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes. Fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Look, you don't have to explain yourself to me. But I'm not going there for a shopping trip. This is murder and kidnapping we're talking about. And if the axe was there, so were the people behind all this. Anything else is just background noise. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Had the... Valahogy... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. 
I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. Mm. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. <laughs> Oké, tehát nekik pénz kellett, mert a más életszínvonal hozért szoktak. Szerintem bevállaltak mindenféle furcsa szürke melót. Where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Na, akkor hova menjünk? Hát, én a henteshez mennék. Majd akkor beauty biztos, hogy nem hozzuk ö, rossz helyzetbe. Hát így viszont a beast fogjuk. Hát én a henteshez mennék. Az a helyzet. Eddig úgy különösebben jól nem döntöttünk ilyen esetben, de mindegy. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Hát igen, uh, ez valószínű így lesz, tehát csak egy helyre tudunk menni. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Nyilván amúgy... Oh, thank you, Big B. Amúgy is... I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Hát legalább börtönbe zárnánk, érted? Tehát nem, hogy... Valószínű amúgy nem fogjuk, mert én úgy gondolom, hogy itt uh, lesz tűzpárbaj, vagy ilyesmi. De a lényeg a lényeg, hogy... Uh, Nyilván, hogyha a Crooked Man börtönbe kerül, vagy meghal, akkor ö, nyilván beauty is, ö, ha már az ő helyzetük is egy kicsit javul, ha már így tőlük kértek kölcsön. Oké, okay, akkor ez a döneres a blahán tulajdonképpen. Ha, huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Ez a short sem. Right. Jól látom. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Adj Isten. Big B Wolf? <coughs> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? 
Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, roast, tongue. Got some tongue here. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. If you don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. Nyugi sem körben nézünk. Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just got to go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Um, igen, ott megnyomott valamit. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at the Tweedles. Shit. Igen, ez határozottan egy hentes. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you got it. Kill me! Oh God, she is gonna fucking kill me! He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. How you doing? Please, please, Bigby, please don't. Bigby, what happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. You don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. But it's a hard one to live with. Why are you trying to sneak out the back, Johan? What are you afraid of? That whole crew. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Oh. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. You, you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there... Shh. Tehát ott hátul van valami. Ó. Oh. Itt van a illegál labor. 
No i väčšina je ako... Hmm. És orrán lámpa. Amint megnyomott. Hát nem met, de igen. Az igen. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Itt csinálják a tiltott bűbájt. De ez csak tip. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. Hmm. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Okay. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Okay. Hát itt kocsasztották a cuccot. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Oh. Okay. Tehát akkor a helyi helyzemberg. Gondolom. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. He's got his hooks into everybody. And it's pretty clear how. Oh, the game. Oh, yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. When I get my hands on that crooked bastard, I'm gonna make him pay for all this. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Hát ne hiányzik egy darab yeah. a tükörből. Stuff like that mirror. I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Do it right from your living room. Smoking cigarettes. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well. Real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? 
all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't gonna be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my hand. There's no way to get out of this. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Hát akkor ő is így feeling meddig áldozat. Már végül is akkor csak zsarolták, hogy vagy a boltját veszíti el, vagy az életét. Tehát vagy megölik, hogyha nem... Tehát hogyha nem, nem használhatják a a boltját. Na hát itt meg semmi nem lesz. Jack. I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no part of this, pal. You push me one more time, and I will have one hell of a mess on my hands. And I really don't feel like mopping out this room today. So I'm giving you one more shot to thank me for my sunny attitude and generous disposition. Turn the fuck around and walk out that door with your life. Walking out with your axe or whatever other bullshit is not on the table. So get the fuck out of my sight, hit the bricks, see you later. Hey, what's going on here? The fucking hell! Christ, and this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... Again, that's one bloody Mary now. I'm gonna... Rip your fucking lungs out! Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. <laughs> you got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Just so I can prove to you that your axe isn't here. And you think I'm gonna take another inch of abuse? Are you out of your fucking mind? Trust me. You do not want to go there. And what if I do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <coughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna handle you myself. And I won't need no... Ah! You fucking... This is my fucking fight. No. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Ah, Remek.
shit. Magic Mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. Hmm. No one can. The door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Fucking bitch. Where'd they take it? Where did they take Crane? Oh, how the fuck should I know? They do what they do. You'll never see him again. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. That sick piece of... Okay, yep. The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Na, megvan a tükör darab. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Igen, de mi vagyunk a sheriff. Ha már kért egy cigit. Ja, ez a... Hát nem Barna Sofia, hanem a, a piros Priluki. Woody. Jersey was wrong. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? 
know me. És így elmegy baltával a vállán. Mondjuk ez lehet, hogy New Yorkba semmi különös. Tehát... Oké, okay. legalább megvan a tükördarab, most vissza kéne menni ide. Igen. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? All right. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Um. Don't go far. My name Raka Tintotan. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. I'm believable. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? It's my rig, rig edit. He just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Um. Where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. I had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. Okay. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Oh, I can go to the big cat and the kid's fiat. A farmer. Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in fable time. For a friend, the rules will bend. That's a slippery slope, that is. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Uh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. 
I'm not going to ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass for human. Look, you were unglamoured three days ago, and you're still unglamoured now. I can't ignore that. But you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. Best I can do. What a crock of shite. The government by the fables for the fables, my ass. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. I did it. He'll be gone tomorrow. Him and TJ. It may not have felt good, but it was the right thing to do. You know that. Ah, the inner middle of Nikki. You see, it's like it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. But someone did. Had me to What would make a person do that? What could those girls have done? If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. No. Legalább egy jó hír mára, hogy működik a tükör. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back to Remek. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Micsoda rím. He's probably still waking up a little. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Paris, Bokermania. Not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What? Just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings La so let's not do that again okay looks like we'll have to track him down later you're right we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked man bigby we don't have a lot of time are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Uh, mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? <laughs> I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. It's just all I told him you growl. The door, it moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. <laughs> I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, 
if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Tehát a szabályok szerint kell játszanunk, annyi a lényeg. Jó neki, hogy leléphet Párizsba? Hát... Nem rossz, azt mindenképp mondanám. Ah. És még ott a jel. És egy portál. TP haza. Viszont szerintem tudja, hogy itt vagyunk. Agyi. Agy Isten. What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine, lead on. Érdekes. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I thought it was a joke, actually. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Mm. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy? Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Tell me Thanks. who the fuck is I back there. I, so I, I don't exactly I know. I, I just mind the door. You needn't worry. The boss is Get there. Around. I know that much. I might cring before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. That won't be necessary. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Oh, it is egész banda. Na, és itt a főnök is. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it.
Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Ha dohányoznék, én most rágyújtanék, az biztos. Oké. Na lássuk. Én hallottam sztorizat a te. Az előtt, hogy te szerintem a szerintem a szerintem a szerintem a szerintem. Oh, now they scream. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh well. Okay. Na, nézzük akkor a a választásokat. Hát nem küldtük el Colin a farmra, ami nem volt helyes egyébként, vagy legalábbis akkor a Toadot se kellett volna elküldeni a békát. Nehéz ugye ez. Nem voltunk konzekvensek most. Um, nem próbáltuk leszedni róla a, a szalagot. Szerintem az jó ötlet volt, mert lehet, hogy akkor meg is halt volna. Vagy valami ilyesmi. Um, ez, ez nem derült ki. Aha. Oké, a henteshez mentünk. Oh, never mind. <gül> nem tudom, miért félnek a farmtól. Lehet, hogy azért, amit érsz, de szerintem azért, mert nem egy kellemes hely. Tehát nem, nem jöhet, mehet szabadon, de nem tudom. Nem kellett volna elküldeni a farmra. Ah, na mindegy, ezt már, ezt már bánom egyébként. De hát mindegy, így alakult. 43,7% gyújtott rá egy cigire. Hát oda nem kell glamour, de nem, nem New Yorkba jöhet, mehet szabadon, meg, meg ilyesmi. Már mint hogy nyilván glamourral New Yorkba jöhetsz, mehet szabadon, azt csinálsz, amit akarsz. Lehet, hogy a form az egy ilyen kis kellemetlen hely, nem tudom. Oké. Okay. Jó. Hát, ö, haladtunk a sztorival valamennyit, alapvetően. Ö, nyilván ez ilyen nyomozgatós volt. Ö, megtaláltuk a, a főnököt, meg a kis bandáját. Itt most nem láttam egyébként Bloody Mary-t, mert ő ugye Krénnál van valahol. Hát akkor nem itt, ugye? Krint mm. el elzavarták Párizsba, hát gondolom azért, hogy ne legyen szem előtt. Hát mondjuk nem tudom, hogy nekünk különösebben kell -e vele most foglalkozni, hát majd nyilván őt is elővesszük azért, mert szerintem egy kis börtön neki is majd azért kinéz. De nyilván itt a Crooked menes szállat kellene fölgöngyölíteni, mármint úgy értve, hogy, a, hogy őt kéne valahogy börtönbe zárni. A probléma az, hogy most nem vagyunk jó helyzetben ö, ott nála, mert hát ö, ott van az egész banda, szóval hát valószínűleg most nem fogjuk tudni letartóztatni. Na hát mindegy, meglátjuk a következő részben, hogy hogy, hogy alakul. Ö, de azért még nagyon sok a kérdés, tehát hogy miért ölte meg őket, mert most az, hogy, az, hogy, hogy ővé legyen a kontroll, hát ez jó kérdés. Ugye amit illegálkodik, nyilván a metlabor, az, az már biztos, hogy a számláján van. Akkor ugye azért 
nyilván ránk is ránk támadt, az is a számláján van, az tényleg, nem, az tényleg azt nem tudom, hogy, hogy miért ölte meg a, a hölgyeket. Ez, ez nem biztos, hogy, hogy nekem még világos. Uzsorás is így van, valóban. Tehát igen. igen. 10%-kal több kamatér adja a hitelt, mint a bankok, az ugye már uzsorás. Oké, okay. na hát menjünk tovább. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Hát igen, a bank nem áll a kertemben, ez így van. Csak elveszi. Ha úgy alakul. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey. You're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, And the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. It's fun to see him. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Okay. Shadi Tadri, kösönöm a százast. Kösi szépen. Na hát, ha most meg tudjuk beszélni a Crooked man meg tudjuk kérdezni, hogy miért ölte meg őket. Crooked man's lair. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio, it's lobster, sirloin. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the pudding and pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Hmm? Your servant over there told me you did it. 
That's a fucking lie. I didn't say anything like it's that. Fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval. All right? That's it. If only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. Then nem öltem meg, hanem egy embere. And to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him, Sheriff. I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than a... That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Oh. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. <laughs> yeah, Yurika again. Yeah, I killed him. So what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged, Georgie. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? After everything I've done for you? All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. Hmm. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Um. Oh. It's nice. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Remek. <clears throat> no, mom again. Portal. Come on, we're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out.
this way. Okay, elintéztük a bandát. Feltűnés nélkül amúgy, ahogy Snow kérte. Dus we zijn nek ide. Maar als je ziet dat hier niet meer is, wat is het? Nou, niet. Senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. 
<sighs> you gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered... Of course it does. Those girls... So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... Mean... Ah! You're gonna mm. throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I don't think I'm when you I guys... I did what I had to! Back, back in a human being me. That. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> So he told me to take care of it. That you you don't know what that means. Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. George. That's not my problem. Oh, I get it. When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. <laughs> well, fuck you. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Hát, jó, de őt is le kell tartóztatnunk majd a... But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. Stop complaining and take responsibility for what you did. You murdered Faith and Lily. You put those fucking ribbons around their necks. You had the power to let him go, but you chose not to. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you. What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I hmm. thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Hát nyilván nem az, persze. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. 
What the fuck are you supposed to do then? We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches can... Don't talk can... about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really... Just shut up. Vivian, I'm not gonna kill you. I know that. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just... Do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa... And I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! Oh. Oh. Goodbye, Vivian! Georgie. No! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Shit. Vivian! Shit! Just... Jesus. Okay. I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... <sighs> oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. Oh. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. Don't worry about the crooked man. <sighs> Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. Hit the I know Meg. what I did. <laughs> what? You're just gonna leave me here? Be a killer, Georgie. You selfish bastard. Fuck you. Hát, Piece of shit. Igen, amúgy lehet, hogy egy orvost hívnának hozzá, akkor az talán tudna segíteni. Hát, végül is. Ó, oh, oké. Okay. Hát, Vivian. Nincs jó bőrbe, de így akkor, ha jól értem, az összes ilyen uh, magic átkot levette, tehát az összes többi lánynak, akinek még a nyakán van ilyen szalag, az most már nincs elvarázsolva. Ha jól értettem. De majd meglátjuk persze. Nyilván nyilván a, a Crooked Man is sáros, ön nem kicsit. És itt van az ő limója. Na. Still warm. He's here, all right. Of course. Erősen nyomd a kilincset, 
Ez olyan, mint a távirányító. Hogyha erősebben nyomod, akkor, akkor beveszi. Oh, a dobozok. So this is where they've been sending these. Az áru. Metaverse ez valami vasgyár. Ja. Öntöde. Oh. The big bad wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. Ez is történjek. Silver. The big bad wolf. Shit. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Mm. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Does that usually work for you? You planning to kill me with your eyeballs? <sighs> I assume your mother taught you how to fight proper? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Oh, come on! Is that the best you can do? Does that mean who did that to Nick?
Okay. Mi az a sok üvegszilánk? Um. Nem néz ki jól. Így már jobb egy kicsit. Oké, okay. hát a Baladi Mary már, már nincs. Remélem, remélem elfogytak. not to rip you apart right now this gun holds six i won't miss next time before you do anything with me i thought i should point out a few things snow white wants you to bring me back to the woodlands doesn't she and that's what i want you plan to do what she says don't you you sure about that yes i'm quite sure You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? 
I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. Hmm. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Bull shit. I already talked to Georgie. I know you ordered their deaths. Mr. Porgy is mistaken. Porgy. I assure you. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Hmm. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Fine. Hey! <laughs> I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> And your punishment will follow. A törvény betűit követjük. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> The crooked man. God. Motherfucker. <laughs> Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. It's nothing. I'm fine. I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get Those off? You think you have the right and to just do this Faith? to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should be fucking ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Mm. Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? 
Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes, thank you. Now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second. Like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. If you wanted a chance to talk, well go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. But we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? This is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. The EKR. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is fucking bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. If you were so offended by it, why'd you cover it up then? If it had nothing to do with you and your shit, then why'd you try to protect him for so what long? What cover up? I never made any attempt to hide Georgie's criminal activity from you. I learned of it myself For only fuck's recently. For sake. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit hmm. carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. Mm. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. 
I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him! Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, 
Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to. Bluebeard, please. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean, a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to... to this is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't oh. you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder. she doing here? I'd like to- I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Uh, of course. Go right ahead. Then push my best here, head. Don't remember me. I don't Abby know why I was afraid to come my here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. Hey. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. No. Oh. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I'm Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you! The only two people who ever gave a damn about me! And now, I can finally say... You're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me? Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well! No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that! What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did! Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever, somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So we away. get rid it's of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. That means so I think he's going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? 
What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. Look, Snow should decide what we do with him. She's gonna be the deputy mayor, But so... she's not the deputy mayor yet. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. I call me he don't you care. Judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Ooh, so ez, ez no, nagy felelősség. Do what you think is right. Ez, ez nagyon nagy felelősség. Big Dread yes. Wolf. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. Nem öljük meg. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Um. Shit. Hát így megkönnyítette. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still end it already. Nem vagyok híve a halál büntetésnek. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. What he's done? You're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. Irányom Buri. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Some Tommy Ward. Colin, how about come back? You gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Nem tudom, valami sorrend van, vagy hogy? Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Um. Um. Take this. You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. No matter. Um. Újraindítom hát, ha... Pillanat. Valami, valami történt. Resi? Oké, okay. hát reméljük.
Oké, okay. hát reméljük a legjobbakat. Másnap. Oké, okay, szóval letartóztattuk. Um... Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. Oh. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you mm. might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Megint nem várjuk ki a sort. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Nem tudnak viselkedni. És még tényleg lement söré? Hihetetlen. De most Snow, Snow mi volt ilyen? Mit tudom én? Na mindegy. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! We forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Uh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. I know this isn't your ideal situation here. <laughs> Hello, Stop <Stop>, Sheriff. Hey, Sheriff <laughs> Bigby! I have something. <laughs> You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her, she was nice. So... What is it? I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but... Uh... Look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Mm. Have you been there before? No, I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? 
Ezt, ezt, uh, ezt már bánom egyébként. Ó. Oh. Marisa. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just you need to let that go. How are you going to move on? If... Bigby, I I know you're trying to help, but this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. No. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're going to find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Hmm. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then, oh god. Mira dank ne kit sigit. No, I, mean, I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... You started I, think that's what I, I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. 
Egyik válasza volt különösebben kedvemre. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Nem állt össze. Miért mentünk volna utána? Valóban furcsa ez a Narisa. De... Hát nem tudom. Cserit Adri, köszönöm a százast. Na nézzük. Oké. Okay. Hát 31 százalék hagyta Georgie-t meghalni. A többi megölte? Akkor ezek szerint? Tehát ott hagyta meghalni, akkor a többi valószínű megélte. Oké. Okay. Uh, 90 százalék élve hozta vissza. Hát a jog. Igen. Oké. Majd a fele börtönbe zárta. Tehát a, a börtön volt a büntetés. Oké. Elfogadtuk TG ajándékát. És ezt mondtuk utoljára Nerissának, ami nem tudom, hogy miért olyan kulcsfontosságú, de hát mindegy. Na. Oké, okay. és akkor itt vannak ilyen special stats. Na nézzük. Beast, hazudtunk neki a beauty kapcsán. Oké, okay, megígértük, hogy nem mondjuk el a bíznek, hogy ott volt a lakásunknál. Mély benyomást tettünk rá a nyomozói képességeinkkel. Bluebeard-del összeverekedtünk, igen. Volt ilyen. Butcher. Felajátunk neki, felajátunk neki hogy megvédjük. Adtunk neki egy italt. És hát nem ment a farmra. Oké, okay, börtönbe zártuk. Ugye a Crooked ment. Hát Faith meghalt. A Woodsman-es bugyó után adtunk neki pénzt. Georgit hagytunk meghalni. Ja, és összetörtük a, a DJ pultját. <gül> Oké, okay, Lili temetése után ittunk egyet Grennel. Igen, tettük, hogy mi vagyunk, hogy mi Woodsben vagyunk, amikor ott be volt egy kicsit szittyózva. Jött velünk a triptrebbe, 
és megígértük, hogy a Crooked ment bevisszük. Tárgyalás ez így is volt. Tiny Timit megvártuk. És ö, igen, azt választottuk, hogy őt tartóztatjuk le. Ja igen, ott a testvérek vagy ikrek ö, közül az egyiket lehetett még választani, Bim vagy Ben vagy melyik volt, az már nem tudom. Oké. Okay. Hát, amúgy érdekes vége lett a dolognak, alapvetően. Um, valahogy úgy, úgy a vége olyan, olyan fura lett egy kicsit. Uh, mert oké, okay, börtönbe zártuk a, a, a tettest, de lehet, hogy itt még, itt, még, itt még volt valami. To be continued. Uh, nem úgy zárult le a sztori, hogy ennek vége. Az biztos. De azt tudja, hogy, hogy, hogy valamit még van. Tehát e, valamit még szerintem nem derítettünk föl, és itt a végén a, a kis hablány nekem gyanús, e, gyanús volt még. Mm. De mondjuk elmondott most itt a végén pár dolgot, szóval hát nem tudom. DLC? Van DLC? Elvileg jövőre jön a második rész. Így van. Jövőre jelenik meg a második része. Az a tíz év különbséggel nem is tudom mikor jelent meg ez pontosan. Tizen... Kettő, három? Valahogy ott az elején, ha jól emlékszem. Na mindegy, szóval, szóval valamint még szerintem van, de az könnyen lehet, hogy majd csak ö, jövőre fog kiderülni, de lehet, hogy akkor sem már jövőre... Ö, Jövőre egy, az, a, az egy másik történet lesz. Na mindegy, egyébként szuper volt ez a játék is, szerintem, mert ugye, ugye véget ért ez az ötödik fejezettel. Hát szegény TJ, igen, a, a békákat már így utolag én se küldeném a farmra. Na hát mindegy, ez van. Ott, ott a sajnálom, hogy úgy így döntöttünk. Na, és akkor... Így van. Már csak continue van. Jó. Na, szóval ez is egy szuper game volt. Ezt is köszönöm, hogy kértétek. Üm, tényleg én nagyon élveztem, nekem nagyon tetszett. Üm, persze egy kicsit, üm, ahogy mondtátok is az elején, egy picit potétó, de olyan jóféle potétó. Üm, tényleg ezek a döntések, a quick time eventek szerintem szuper volt. Üm, szerintem utána is olvasok egy kicsit majd, hogy... Üm, milyen ö, kimenetelei lehettek még a játéknak, meg hogyan lehetett ezt. Nyilván meg lehetett volna ölni a, a Crooked Man-t, meg megmenteni még egy-két karaktert. Inkább a fő sztori vonal mentén lennék kíváncsi, hogy, hogy, hogy mi, mi lehetett még, mert valamit ugye a vége olyan nagyon-olyan, tehát nem volt ilyen nagy epik, ö, vagy, vagy úgymond magyarul eposzi befejezése. Na hát mindegy, Ö, egyébként tényleg nagyon tetszett, szerintem szuper volt. Ettől a pici buktól itt a végén eltekintve én különösebb hibát nem találtam benne. Ez a pici bug meg hát pff, fura volt, de na mindegy, Ö, előfordul. Na mindegy, én minden esetre Ö, még egyszer köszönöm, hogy itt voltatok és végignéztétek velem. Szerintem ez egy, egy tényleg egy szuper játék. Valószínű a második részt is meg fogjuk nézni. Hát, ha megjelenik, euh, addig biztosan nem. <gül> Oké, és mára viszont megköszönöm. Holnap euh, egy új megjelenést fogunk nézni, mégpedig a Straight. A Straight fogjuk megnézni. Hát én nagyon kíváncsi vagyok. Euh, nagyon nehéz ebbe a világba macskának lenni. Ezt egy grafitin olvastam kecskeméten. Euh, na mindegy. Nagyon kíváncsi vagyok, macska, RPG, puzzle, platformer, fogalmam sincs, hogy mi lesz. Állítólag az early review-k dicsérik. Hát holnap megmondom. Addig is. Én még egyszer nagyon szépen köszönöm a followokat, subokat, csíreket, donéteket, de legfőképpen azt, hogy itt voltatok és néztétek. 
Én kívánok nektek további szép estét, további kellemes hetet, találkozunk holnap este is. Sziasztok!